welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra and this video is a little different. This video is dedicated to Nat. Uh, she is a viewer um, and her YouTube handle is Matters of the Heart by Nat 8815. I have a picture of her channel on the screen. Uh, it came to my attention that several YouTubers were getting together and they were doing a viewer tribute collaboration and I wanted to be involved in this. Um, a little, I'm a little bit late to the party um, as I let it be known that I haven't been feeling very well, but I wanted to get this done for Nat. Um, my channel is relatively new. Um, I really started posting, I don't know, uh, consistently since April of this year and I didn't start my channel to for views or likes or at least I didn't think I started it for that it wasn't it wasn't like the, the main drive of starting the channel I basically am uh, sitting up in my craft room and crafting uh, doing my little thing and I just turned on the camera and just started recording um, and then when the the comments and the likes started coming in, you know, I was like, wow, this is, this is fun, you know, but I'm not driven by that. Uh, but it is nice to be recognized. And one viewer in particular, uh, I noticed she commented on almost every video, uh, I could say, and she probably one of the first people to comment. And that is Nat. And at first I was like, oh, that's nice. You know, and and then I started recognizing her name more and more, and um, I grew comfortable, you know, with her and in responding to her. She just wasn't some random name out in the world commenting on the video. I actually feel like, you know, there was some kind of connection. It's as odd as that may sound, it, you know, it, there is. Uh, she lives in Australia, and. Um, you know, I, the odds of me meeting her face to face are slim to none. But you know, I can always count on if on Nat. If I feel like the videos uh, this might not might be very good or whatever, I know I know Nat's watching. And sometimes just knowing just that is enough to get me to turn the camera on, um, because you know um, there are times where I won't be in the presence of mind to turn the camera on because not because oh no one's watching it's sometimes I, I may forget and I'll be getting ready to pour whatever or do whatever I'm going to do and I'll be like let me turn the camera on Nat may want to see this so a lot of times that she is the reason I turn my camera on so Nat this goes out to you um, I truly appreciate you your comments and everything you motivate me and you make turning on the camera fun. So this is for you. Uh, it's heart themed because of her name, Matt is the heart. And I didn't know what I was gonna do. So I had these two pieces already made. So I thought they were nice. So this piece was my inspiration piece, believe it or not, when I was digging through my stuff. And then I started digging through my flowers and my stickers, everything. And I'm like, I wanna do rose rose petals. So then a little further into that, then my little gold foil. So what I have here, I have just over two and a half ounces mixed up. I'm going to get another cut because I want to mix this separate. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there like that. And let me get some tweezers. Okay, and I'm just gonna put, that's all I'm, ooh, that might be even too much, but that's what I'm going with for now. So obviously something sticky on my tweezers, not surprising. I'm gonna mix that up. There's a big piece in there. Okay, get some more in there. That looks good. And 
And now for some rose petals. I don't know if I'm gonna mix them in or what. Hmm, I'm gonna mix them in gently because these are dried. And hopefully I can get this video edited so I can get it out there because I want people to be aware of our wonderful gnat. Somebody else, I think it was Mary from Resin Me Up, called her like our, I don't know, our YouTube mom. I don't know if, if she's old enough to be my mom. I'm in my late 50s, so. So I'm going to pour my flowers in like that. I'm going to spread them out. Now I did do a water test on this and it was two and a half ounces, but we know how that is. Sometimes that don't translate over the resin. Try to get my little pieces out. Okay, so we got that. Now let's add some gold flakes. Wow, I put a lot of gold flakes in there. Oh well, that'll be pretty. This will be really pretty, actually. Okay. Might put some over, get some out of here, right here, this big blob. Drop the blob over there. Other than that, I think that's good. I want to dome it a little bit. And if I have to sand it, I will sand it. And if I do sand it, I'll be, I'll be using my 320 grit sandpaper, my wet dry sandpaper. And uh, we'll go from there because I don't want this bumpy on the back. So let me spray it with some isopropyl alcohol. It's, this is 99%. Uh, I'm gonna let that cure, and once it's cure, I will be back. Okay, this is cured. Let's see what we have. I can feel, you can see the texture on that. I was going to sand that, but then I was I was looking at it. And I actually like that. I like the way it feels. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I really like the way that feels. Get this out of there. There. And there is the front. Isn't that pretty? Obviously, there's no reveal there. That, that is really cool. I don't know, because that is... I don't know if that would end up discoloring, because that's... Is it exposed? No, that would, that's so fragile that would be coming off. That's in there. That is so cool. Anyway, there, there's that. I have paint on my fingers. And that is the back. That does look pretty. The back of that, let's see. Doesn't that look pretty? What do you think? You think I should sand it or leave it alone? I, I, I want to leave it alone. I like the way it feels. It's different. I like it. I hope Nat likes it. So there it is, Nat. There's my little heart, my little tribute to you. Uh, my little way of saying thank you. Uh, showing my appreciation. Um, I really like the texture of it. I love the way this turned out. Uh, let me know if you like this. I need to uh, get a little stand for display. Um, but I, I, I really do appreciate you. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate uh, that you're there when it seems that nobody else is. Um, that, you know, somebody's watching, somebody's paying attention and letting us know. 
Um, we all appreciate you, and you, know, you hold a special place in our heart. And to everyone else, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And to my subscribers, I truly appreciate you, and you have a great day, and God bless.